If you've ever dealt with cloudy water in a fish tank, you may know that it's one of the most frustrating things that can happen in the fish keeping hobby. We're going to talk about how to deal with it, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Jason from Prime Time Aquatics and today, yes, we are going to be dealing with a very frustrating thing and that is cloudy water in an aquarium. How do we deal with it? So why are we talking about it? One, because cloudy water doesn't look the best and two, in some cases, cloudy water can be an indication of how healthy the water is for the fish. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at the reasons why water becomes cloudy. We will also look at what to do about it. But I need your help, Primetime Aquatics community. If you've dealt with cloudy water in the past before, leave that in the comments section below how you successfully cleared up your water. We get this question all the time. We just set up a fish tank and within a few days, the water is cloudy and it doesn't matter how many water changes you do or you clean the filter media, the water is still cloudy. Why does that happen? Often, when you're setting up a new tank and that tank is not fully cycled, and we talk about the nitrogen cycle in another video, I will put a card in the upper right hand corner. When a tank is not cycled, usually once you start adding fish and once you start adding fish food, the water becomes really cloudy. Why? Often it's a bacterial bloom, and so you have bacteria that are suspended in the water column creating cloudy water. Cloudy water can also happen if you're overfeeding your fish. If you've got too much fish food in the tank and the fish don't eat it, it can sink to the bottom of the tank and begin to rot. There, all that food just starts to dissolve, break apart, and goes into the water column. You can also have cloudy water if you have too many fish in too small of a tank, especially when those fish are interacting with the sand or the gravel, the substrate. They can be kicking up a lot of stuff, debris, food, waste, and that can create cloudy water as well. The other thing that can happen is inadequate filtration. We've talked a lot about filtration in the past. We've talked about the nitrogen cycle. We've talked about water quality. I will put all those videos in a description below so you can check those out. But inadequate filtration can be a problem. There's three types of filtration, chemical, mechanical, and biological. The mechanical filtration aspect is the one that we're interested in here today because that's the ability of your filter to pull out particulate matter from the water column. So if the filter is inadequate, in other words, it's too small for the amount of fish and the amount of fish food that you have, the bio load that you have, and the volume of water that you're trying to filter, that can lead to cloudy water. But there's something else there that's just important when it comes to mechanical filtration. You may have the right size filter, but the wrong media in that filter. And so the finer the pores, the smaller the pores in your filter media, the more particulate matter will be trapped from the water column. So for instance, you might have a very coarse sponge in your filter. That may trap some debris, but if you had filter floss in that filter media as well, it would trap even more. Of course, there's a trade-off. If you've got filter floss in the filter, it's gonna gunk up a little bit more frequently and you're gonna have to change it more often. The other thing that can happen is you might have the right filter, you might even have the right media, but as I just mentioned, if you are not changing the filter media often enough, it usually has an impact on the quality of the water and the way it looks mechanically. And so once that filter floss gets gunked up, it isn't going to trap any additional stuff coming from the water. It's just gonna be passed through right back into the tank. The other thing that can cause water to become cloudy, dead fish. Dead fish is a key. Sometimes you'll get a fish that gets stuck behind some rocks. Maybe it even got into the filter itself. It's somewhere where you can't see it and it begins to decompose in the tank and everything starts to turn cloudy because you've got all this additional organic material in that fish tank and that can create all kinds of problems. So just check around and make sure you have all the fish that you're supposed to have and that will certainly help. This last thing is something I think gets overlooked a lot. Your tank can look pretty dirty and you may think it's the water and it's not actually the water, it's the glass. So bacteria in the tank begin to produce a biofilm over the glass and it gives the tank a somewhat cloudy appearance. Sometimes just doing a quick little algae scraper along the glass will make a world of difference. It might not actually be the water, it just might be the viewing pane of your fish tank. All right, so those are some of the reasons why water can become cloudy. Now, what do we do about it? Obviously, one of the reoccurring themes I think that we're seeing here is proper fish tank maintenance is key. What does that mean? It means doing your water changes. 
your water changes are primarily going to be based on the amount of nitrates you have in your fish tank. We've talked about this a number of times in other water quality videos. Again, I will put those videos in the description below, but essentially your nitrates typically determine how much and how often you're gonna be changing your water. So proper water changes, that's gonna be important. And if you don't have a planted tank and you've got gravel, often that means gravel vacuuming the tank when you do the water changes. That's gonna pull out a lot of the uneaten food. It's also going to pull out some of the fish waste and that organic material, once it's removed, will help ensure that your water stays a little bit more clear. Second thing, we've already mentioned it, make sure your glass is clean. That will also make the fish tank appear a lot cleaner. We've mentioned this already, but proper filter maintenance. If you've got the right size filter, you've got the right type of media, make sure you change it once the media gets saturated with fish waste and uneaten food and whatever else is floating around in your tank. For us, what that usually means is when we use the fine filter floss in a lot of our tanks for the few hang on back filters that we, that we run in our fish room, we're changing that out about every couple of weeks, but most of our tanks are very heavily stocked. What we're looking for is if the filter media is starting to look brown and kind of nasty, we pull it out, put fresh filter floss in its place. If we look at it and it still looks relatively good, we keep it in there and we'll let it go another week. Now, this last thing, is probably one of the most important for those of you who are starting a new tank. If your tank was not fully cycled before you began adding fish, and now you've got cloudy water because you have a bacterial bloom, there's a few things you can do about that. Thing number one, reduce the amount of food that you're feeding your fish. So if you're feeding them two or three times a day, maybe do one small feeding every day. Second thing, don't add any more fish, all right? Right now what's happening in a new tank is you've got a lot of bio load going into what was once a relatively sterile environment and their fish are producing waste and they're eating food and all of that stuff is food for bacteria and that's why the bloom is there. The other thing that you should be looking for is ammonia. Ammonia is very toxic to fish. We've done videos on how to deal with ammonia. I will put a card in the upper right hand corner that video will also be in the description below. I highly recommend you watch that video to learn how to deal with ammonia. That's probably coming next if it hasn't already started in your fish tank, if it is a brand new tank. The other thing that you could be doing, it's not necessarily going to reduce the cloudiness by a lot, is do water changes. So if the water is super cloudy because you have a bacterial bloom, water changes somewhere in that 30 to 50 percent may be helpful. If you are having a problem because your tank is brand new and it's not fully cycled, one of the best pieces of advice I can give you is try to find some used filter media from a trusted source from a different fish tank that doesn't have disease and put that media in your filter that will help you make sure that you don't have an ammonia or nitrite spike later. Now there are some products on the market that will claim to help you clarify your water. If it's due to a bacterial bloom, it's probably not going to work. So if you look at the, those products and you put them in there, if you've got other issues besides bacterial bloom, they may help. For me personally, I have never used those products and seen a noticeable difference after using them. All right, everyone, so hopefully you found that helpful. Again, I understand cloudy water can certainly be frustrating. Primetime Aquatics community, if you've got suggestions, put that in the comments section below. If you found this helpful, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.